A fragmented nature of American political decision-making has a great impact on the complexity of the budget-making process. Most governments budget on an annual or biannual basis, though not all funds approved for expenditure are actually spent in that year. Each stage of budget making is predominantly under the auspices of either the executive or the legislative branch, though few functions in budgeting are exclusively the responsibility of either one. Another element is the distinction between budget obligations, also referred to as budget authority, and actual outlays of funds. Budget obligations are orders placed, contracts awarded, services rendered, and other commitments made by government agencies during a fiscal period that require expenditure of public funds during some future period. Budget outlays are agencies' expenditures during a given fiscal period, fulfilling budget obligations incurred during the same or a previous period. The stages of the bu budget process include preparation, authorization, appropriations, execution, and audit. The authorization stage has historically involved determination of maximum spending levels or caps for each program approved by the legislative branch. Authorizations may be enacted for expenditures in the same or subsequent years, making this highly significant in terms of specific provisions. The majority of state governments and almost all local governments draw up their budgets without incorporating an authorization stage into their procedures. Appropriations, which happen after authorization, grant the money to spend or the power to incur financial obligations and the appropriations committees in the two houses play the major role in the phase of the budget process. Backdoor financing is the practice of eliminating discretionary decision-making control from the appropriation stage of the budget process. Entitlement legislation has major implications for authorization and appropriation processes because no limit is placed on the total amount of budget authority for a program. The political impacts of backdoor spending, special orders, and mandatory entitlement programs include obstacles that must be cleared in order to address the fundamental issue of whether such programs should be continued. Continuing resolution is a type of appropriation used by Congress to fund agencies when a formal appropriations bill has not been passed. Sequestration is the withholding of budgetary resources provided by discretionary or direct spending legislation according to an established formula up to the dollar amount that must be cut in order to meet the deficit reduction target. Reconciliation is an important step in congressional budgeting when Congress makes adjustments in existing laws to achieve conformity with annual spending targets adopted in each year's concurrent resolution. The key step following committee recommendations is House and Senate action on an omnibus or all-encompassing reconciliation bill. Pay-as-you-go, pay-go, is a procedure requiring that spending increases be offset by other decreases in annual appropriations so as to not increase the deficit. Agency personnel in the course of program operations may transfer funds from one account to another, reprogram funds for related uses, and defer spending to build up cash reserves. At any given time, an agency head or budget officer can be given attention to as many as four fiscal years.